Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about the uninstallation process or how we can install a program. Especially in that case when we try to uninstall the program with conventional way and we could not do it. So here we have a situation where we will try to uninstall quick heal total security software and uh, we will try to do it with conventionally and I already have tried it and I could not able to uninstall it then we will see uh, two or three more methods to uninstall the program when the conventional way or conventional method could not work. So let's get started. So first thing we will try to do is we will try to uninstall it with conventional method. So let's type here add or remove program. If you are in Windows, in Windows 10, then you can try this. Or if you are in Windows 7, then you can go to control panel. And here you need to find program and features. So you can click here and then can open the same thing. Okay, so you can try any one of them. Either can click on add or remove program and can go to uh, control panel and can open the same. Okay, so now we are here. Now I will try to find the program that I want to install and here it is. Now I will click on uninstall. Then I will make a right click and then click on uninstall. Now I will click yes. And here you can see I am trying to uninstall it but nothing is happening. Just uh, it is asking me uh, yes and no and I can understand uh, while recording it will show the black screen due to windows restrictions. Okay, so the conventional way didn't work. Now the second thing what we can do is we can try to find out the installation uh, application of the of the software. So here we have icon. We can click on it and can find the file location easily. And here it is. If uh, you don't have any icon, then you can simply type here and search for the program. And here we go. Again, we can make a right click. Same with Windows 7 as well. And then can find this option, which says uh, open file location. Then here again, another shortcut. Then again, because this is short shortcut. So again, we need to click on the same thing. Make a right click and uh, click on open by location and here we go. So this is our installation directory as you can see here. There are a bunch of file and try to find install uninstallation.exe. So I will click U because generally these uninstallation uh, applications are named as uninstall.exe or unins something like that. So in our particular case the name of installation uh, file is uninst.exe and make sure that uh, you should only find e .exe because in windows the exe is executable uh, so maybe msi uh, be the another executable but uh, generally the extension will be .exe so this will save your time and you will not spend time in finding .dll so uh, again, the another way, uh, way to identify the installation file is just hover around it. And uh, here you can see in file description, it says that uh, this file is quick heal uninstaller. So in this way, also we can identify whether uh, what exactly the file is. Okay. So now again, I will make a right click and run will it this and will try to run this file as admin and will try to solve the problem. And again, the problem remains same. It didn't work. Okay. So we have tried two methods. Now we're going to try method number three is we will try to uninstall it with a third party application. Okay. So here come the browser and I will uh, download a software named as I orbit uninstaller. So I will also put the link of this installer in the description down below. Also, I will add the step by step procedure. So if you don't like this video, then you can follow the web instruction as well. So I will keep both. 
Okay, so let's click here. And now here we have an option of free download. So as of now, 2020, uh, the free download version is 9.6.0. And you can also download the beta version as well. So I will be downloading the stable release. Now here you need to click. Now the process of download have begun. After you download, simply open the file and run it as administrator. Now here you can see the installation wizard. Click on install and here they are opening us to install something else. So we will skip it. So let's fast forward it. Okay, so we can see our installation process has completed. Now I would like to choose no thanks and we're going to click on finish. As soon as we click on finish, the software will run automatically. If the software didn't run automatically, then you can type the name of the software, which is iobit uninstaller. So we can type here iobit and we can click here. So let's uh, try to find the software that we want to uninstall. And we already know the name of software. So here we have got a small search toolbar as well. So either you can scroll and find the program using mouse or you can type the name. So here is the quick heal. And now I will select this program and we'll click on uninstall. Now it's optional. You can create a restore point as well. If you feel that the program is not safe or maybe you want to recover it later. So you can create a restore point as well, but I don't feel the requirement of this. So I will keep it unchecked and I will keep this one checked, which says automatically remove the residual file. Now let's click on install. So the another benefit of these program is you can actually select multiple programs at once and you can uh, actually start the batch uninstallation process, which means that you do not need to wait and simply choose the program and the software will do the remaining task. So here, according to this, the software have installed the soft, uh, the, the program quick heal, and now it is removing the residual file, including registries, which is a very good thing. Okay. So according to this, the program has been removed in the left over also. So now let's try to refresh it and uh, try to find whether it actually works or not. So here I will type quick Q U I C K. Oh, but here you can see still the program exists and oh my God, this program actually didn't work. So what actually we can do now is we can try another method. It may also happen with you as well. Like you have tried another multiple program like me. I was trying to find the best way. So now what we are gonna do, we will start our windows in safe mode and then we will have a look at it, whether we are able to uninstall it or not. So let's open safe mode in order to open or restart our windows in safe mode. What actually we need to do, we need to click here on start menu and then settings. Then we will go back here to update and security. Then here in recovery, click on advanced startup and then click here in restart now. But wait, 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 before clicking on restart now, Please make sure that you have saved all your file and belongings so that uh, you would not lose them because as soon as you're going to click on start now, the PC will restart. So I will also save my necessary belonging and I will restart the system. Now, after you click on restart your PC, this option will appear. Now, what exactly you need to do here? You need to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced option. Then here 
you need to define your startup setting so you're gonna click here and then here you can see uh, you will have options named uh, enable low resolution mo video mode debugging mode uh, boot logging safe mode so safe mode is the thing that we want to try and we're gonna click on restart Now here we can see the bunch of options that are available. So we are more uh, interested in safe mode. So I will press 4. Okay, so I will type my password. And you can see here my system has been restarted in safe mode. Now again we will try to repeat the same process let's open the software and now again let's try to install quick heal let's hope this time it will work else because we are in safe mode we can delete the those file manually because sometimes you know what happened there are a lot of background process running and that prevent us to delete these softwares okay now let's have a look back again Finally, here we go. We can see the software doesn't exist. And let's try to find out whether the file actually exists or not. And here you can see the scanner.exe actually doesn't exist and only these software exists. So how are you gonna know that these are only shortcuts? Just click on it and you can see these are only shortcuts. So Windows is offering us to delete the shortcut option so we can actually select them all and can delete them so finally we have successfully uninstalled our quick heal and let's try to find out here so here we can see no quick heal anymore so I believe this method is applicable for any software. I also hope that in this way you can delete uh, all unwanted software that you want to and that annoyed you a lot because you tried to install it and uh, it actually didn't. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if this worked for you and also do let me know in comment down below if you have any problem regarding uninstallation and i will try to reply you as soon as possible and till then bye bye